In this exercise, you'll add a new part to the parts list by selecting a part family and size from the Pipe Network Part Catalog. This exercise demonstrates how to access your parts list from the Network Layout Tools toolbar. You can also create, view, and edit parts lists using the Toolspace Settings tab. So let's go about adding a part family to the Pipe Network parts list. Go ahead and open up your Pipe Networks-2 drawing which is located in your Tutorials folder. In the Drawing window, go ahead and zoom in and select one of the Pipe Network parts. You'll see we get our Pipe Networks Network tab. Go ahead and go into the Modify panel. Then select Edit Pipe Network. On the Pipe Network Layout Tools toolbar, select this button right here for Parts List. We get our Select Parts List dialog box. We're going to select this down arrow, and we're going to select Edit Current Selection. We get our Network Parts List dialog box. Click on the Structures tab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the Parts List structure name. Now we're going to add Part Family. We get our Part Catalog dialog box. Under Inlet Outlets, check off Concrete Rectangular Headwall. Now click OK. The new part family is added to the tree view, which you can see right here. You'll notice that if we click the plus for any one of our structures, we have a part that has a specific size. However, we don't have one for our part family that we just added. Go ahead and select the name, right click, and select Add Part Size. In the Part Size Creator dialog box, we'll expand this a little bit more. We'll go into Headwall Base Width, and we'll scroll all the way to the right, and we're going to check this box to add all sizes then click OK. We scroll down and we expand this. We'll see all of our sizes. On the Pipes tab, go ahead and select that. We'll open up our tree. Now right click the concrete pipe. Then add part size. We're going to change the inner pipe diameter. We do this by clicking within the value cell, and we'll select 24 inches, then click OK. You'll see that 24 inches has been added to our list. Then go ahead and click OK, and then click OK one last time. So that's how you go about adding parts to the parts list in Civil 3D.